Today, we are going to talk about the seven large retail stores that will disappear in 2023. The past few years, we have seen retail stores struggle through a lot of ups and downs. Just in the past year, we have seen layoffs and restructuring just to get through the pandemic. And now, in 2023, millions and millions of workers are worried that they could be laid off as well. Economists are predicting that the United States is headed towards a recession in 2023. As a result, thousands and thousands of stores are going to be shut down. It is inevitable. And today, we are going to go over the seven large retail stores that will disappear in 2023. So, let's begin. Let's start off with Sears. In the early 2000s, Sears Roebuck had more than 3,500 stores. They had more than 350,000 employees and were the world's largest retailer at its peak. Today, Sears only has 28 stores in the United States. And back in May, Sears announced another round of closures. Business analysts project that there will be no Sears stores left in the middle of 2023. So if you are currently shopping at a Sears location, just understand 2023 may be the final year you ever shop at Sears. But let's talk about Kmart. Kmart once had 300,000 employees and more than 2,440 stores. As of December 28th, 2022, Kmart had only 20 retail stores in the United States, four of which were in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Kmart was owned by Sears Holding, which had to file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection back in 2018. But due to Kmart's lack of modernizing, other retailers like Walmart and Target took over their market share. It is no surprise that Kmart has struggled over the years, but the expectation is that the remaining retail stores will likely close down in 2023 if the U.S. ends up in a recession. So if you do shop at Kmart, again, understand, 2023 may be the final year you are ever able to shop at Kmart. And Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble was a once-renowned bookstore that customers were flocking to to get their books. However, due to the rise of Amazon and the pandemic in 2020, millions of customers stopped shopping for books in person and changed to buying online. Barnes & Noble filed for bankruptcy in March 2021. Currently, Barnes & Noble has 589 retail locations in the United States, at least as of December 21st, 2022. California has the most stores at 69 stores. There are 47 states and ter territories with a Barnes & Noble uh, within them, and 477 cities have a Barnes & Noble in their city. Even with 589 open stores, the retailer has stated that their revenue has dropped by more than 50% over the past two years, all because of the pandemic. GNC was once known as the vitamin and supplement store. Back in 2020, they filed for bankruptcy. They said they would liquidate 1,400 stores, but GNC has been struggling for multiple years, but insiders predicted that their demise was due to the internet. They say that because of the smaller supplement brands coming online on places like Instagram, Facebook, and even YouTube, that social media and influencers have been the demise of GNC for multiple years. So that is the reason why GNC is likely to close down a lot of their stores in 2023 is simply because they are not profitable. They're not making money and customers are not flocking to GNC locations, mostly because they are inside of malls. True Religion Apparel was once a must have for teenagers in the 2000s. However, True Religion Apparel had to file for bankruptcy in 2017. And this was even after reducing its debt to a quarter of its pre-bankruptcy levels. And in 2020, True Religion had to file for bankruptcy again because of the pandemic. Because of this pandemic, they had to close more than 100 stores across the United States. The expectation is True Religion is going to be going under very soon. And Staples. Staples is a store that many people had to go to once a week during the 2000s. However, Staples used to have thousands and thousands of retail stores across the world, but in recent years, Amazon and other online retailers have been able to offer cheaper pricing due to them not having physical retail locations. As a result, Staples has turned to operating distribution warehouses and establishing themselves as a mainly online presence. And this is largely due to people knowing exactly what they want to buy. 
For instance, if you need to buy a pen or a pack of pens, you just buy the pack of pens. You don't test them out, you don't need to hold them, you don't need to see them, you just buy them. This goes for a stapler, a whiteboard, printer paper, and so much more. And due to Amazon's return policy being so easy, many people are just using Amazon to buy their products, especially business owners. And we have JCPenney. JCPenney is one of the largest retailers still standing in 2023. However, they are projected to close down most of their remaining stores in 2023. In 1973, JCPenney had 2,053 retail locations. This was at their peak. However, ever since 1973, they have been on a steady decline ever since. Currently, JCPenney has 669 physical locations, 73 which are located in Texas, but with online retailers like Amazon now offering a try before you buy feature, stores like JCPenney's are quickly on the demise. What I can tell you is 2023 will be a year of change. We are going to see more local stores turn to online retail, to e-commerce. E-commerce in 2023 is surpassing $1 trillion. E-commerce will be a $1 trillion industry in 2023. This is insane being that just two years ago, they were just at $800 billion. Their growth has been insane. As a result, experts believe that brick and mortar will be the business of the past and e-commerce is the way to go. So one way you can tell if a business will be around in 2023 and beyond is do they have an online presence? If they don't, then bye bye that business. And out of these lists of seven large retail stores that will disappear in 2023, let me know down in the comment section below, which store are you most upset hearing that they will be going away in 2023? Let me know down in the comment section below.